Okay, hey YouTube. Um, I know it's been two months since I uploaded my last vi video, but um, shout, I've been going through, and um, I'll give y'all an update on that shit later. But what I'm doing now is I'm making a video for the new gay people, the new gay people that just came into the scene or may have not been in the scene too long and really don't understand basic lingo terms. And um, I'm making this video because I I do I've just met this little boy. He's about probably 13 or 14 years old, and he he says he's gay. He wants to be gay or whatever. But he asked me. He was like, "I hear you saying talking to your friends, and you use all these different terms and everything." And he was like, "What, you, what the hell are you talking about?" So I told him I would make him this video so that he could see it and that he would understand because, you know, I didn't have time to tell him right there in his face. I'm only going to use basic um basic terms. I'm not going to go all into the extra. I'm just going to give him some basic things that I use every day that'll help him. So. First of all, the little boy didn't even know if he was top bottom. Okay, let me explain to you what top bottom is. When I asked him that, he was like, the fuck. First of all, little boy, the top is the one who's doing the screwing. Okay? That's the one who's fucking, fucking the bottom. Okay? The bottom, okay, is the one who's getting screwed. He's getting fucked by the top, okay? So when you hear, um, when, when bottom, top, goes like that, that's how it works. Then, you understand? Okay, so then you have people who are verse. You know, you have someone who's verse, which means they can go both ways. You know, they, they that's just how they do. And then I'm not going to really break it down, but you also have your verse tops and verse bottoms and all that stuff. It's self-explanatory. Okay. Next thing that I'm, I, um, you need to know, you know, I just had to cover the top and bottom thing because you just didn't know that at all. Next thing I'm going to um, tell you about is T. When you hear someone say, what's the T? Most of the time they ask them what's going on, what's the information, what's new, you know, what's popping type of thing. Me, I don't say what's the tea, I just say what's the tea. You know, I don't have time to say what's the tea, bitch. No, I say what's the tea, bitch. That's just how I say it. Basically, ask them information. You can use tea in different ways. Uh, um, I got some tea for you and honey it is sweet as fuck or I got a whole bunch of tea to spill. Whatever. That's just tea. Okay. Next is shade, honey. When someone throws shade... Or when someone uses shade, shade is most of the time offensive. That's what shade is. It's just being offensive. It's being mean. You know, um, when you say shade like, oh, that bitch just threw so much shade. Basically, like I just said, that person, whoever it was, was being offensive to your ass. And you was offended by it. So you told them they threw shade. Or you could refer to that person as being shady. Okay. If you're about to say something shady, but you don't want to come off as being offensive, just say no shade. No shade, bitch, but why the fuck did you put that shirt on? Okay. That's basically that. Okay. Um, got that out of the way. Um, something else you might need to know about, don't really think you do, because you're only 14, you probably ain't got a lot of this anyway, is money. Money is um, coins in the gay community. You say coins. That's just what it is. I heard a lot of people call it dates before, but I don't really understand why. I don't, I, shit, I don't know. But... Coins is money. Okay. And this thing I was talking about is reading. Um, reading is basically, okay, think about reading a book. You read a book, you find out all the shit. Right? When you look at a book, you read the words, and you find out everything you need to know. Reading, that's exactly what it is. When someone says, I'm about to read you, bitch, they take you from head to toe, and they tell you about yourself. Okay? Reading, from what I hear, came before Shade. I don't really know how that all goes together or whatever they want to call it, but watch this movie called Paris is Burning. And the bitch break it down for you. All right. Um. Next. Um. Something I use all the time. I don't know if a lot of people use it, but I do personally, and it's one of my favorites. Is telling the bitch to pay it, bitch. Okay. When you say pay it, it's like get over, the, get over the shit. Like, don't complain about it. Just fucking pay it. Now I understand there are those times where something just is too big and too heavy, and you just, you know, you just can't pay it right at the time. But honey, just get over the shit. Pay it. And once you pay it, tell them bitches that you paid it. And say, it's paid. I paid it. Okay. That's that type of thing. Um, Everything else is self-explanatory. When you hear a lot of gay lingo, for instance, I know you hear Tamar Braxton say a lot of times, you tried it. Tried it. What did it sound like? You tried it. Someone come for you. It didn't necessarily work like that. Or you might have caught that shit and you say, bitch, you tried it. But it's cool. You know, something like that. Which brings me to sense what people say. They say they come for you. When people say, don't come for me. It's basically when someone wants to try it, and they do try it, and you tell them that they tried it, you can also say, 
you tried it, but don't come for me because it ain't working that way. Most time it's after someone threw shade or said something about you that you just really didn't like. Okay. One of my personal favorites, oh my goodness, I say it forever and I use it for every word, every single thing in the world, is boots. Boots is basically basically a lot of when you hear someone say boots, you know they mean a, not necessarily a lot like a lot of money, but you mean a lot like someone may say I'm very hungry. Me, I'm not gonna say I'm very hungry. I'm gonna say I'm hungry boots. That must let you know I'm really hungry. If I see a fine ass nigga and I think he fine as fuck, I'm like, damn, he's sexy boots. You know, you can know he's sexy boots. Okay. One of my terms that I use another also is um, pump. When I say I'm about to pump, bitch, that means I'm about to go. It don't matter if I'm going to the bathroom. It don't matter if I'm going to the store. I don't care if I'm walking around the block, checking the mail, raking some leaves. Bitch, I'm pumping. So that's what it is for me. If I say I'm pumping to the store, I'm pumping. That's what I'm doing. I'm about to go. I'm on a move. I'm on a mission. That's what pumping is to me. There's not that many other words that I use in the gay community, even though there are tons and tons and tons that you can learn. But I just wanted to take that little boy through the basics. Um, whenever he sees this video, I'm gonna let him know. Uh, well, I'm gonna let him know when I post it. But um, yeah. So little boy, here you go. Here go your video. Here go your little gay terms. I hope you understood. YouTube, another thing, I'm so sorry for not making a video. I have to update y'all asses on a lot of the stuff that's going on. It's not like a lot of y'all are watching because I only have like fucking 15 subscribers. But still, I'm going to try to make this video and my YouTube um, channel a success. I don't care how long it takes. But yeah, that's it, bitches. Um, that's all I got to say. This one is basic. Whatever it is. That's you. All right. Want it to come for me, Peace but I love. don't believe Peace it's love. true. Cause truth be told, bitch, you'll gag. <laughs>